Locked in a tight race, two Democrats are vying to take on Florida's high-profile governor, Ron DeSantis, in November. Um, there are a lot of issues at play, and I think that if the Democrats can select the right candidate, um, I think that they, and I think that the ones who are currently running for the uh, Democratic nomination are, are strong candidates, especially the two who are emerged, emerging as the top contenders, Charlie Crist and Nikki Freed. I think with both of them, um, I would really think that they would have a very good chance of winning. Florida's race for the United States Senate has also gotten tighter, with Representative Val Demings overtaking incumbent Senator Marco Rubio in at least one University of North Florida poll. I think that those are, are polls that are showing not only that Florida is in play, but they're also, I think, showing the impact of the Dobbs decision, because Marco Rubio has made it clear that he's pro-life, he opposes abortion, even in cases of rape and incest. And I think that um, that is something that she really has been focusing on. Overall, 2022's midterm elections will play an important role in congressional races and the 2024 general election. This election is important because it's really given us a prelude to 2024, because usually Americans are more concerned with presidential elections. But this election is going to determine the partisan makeup of both houses of Congress. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.